Now, what has really annoyed me this week is um, that it's just my head. It's all that. Yes, um, one of the things that's really got my goat going this week is that I've lost, lost, lost is like one of my favourite programmes ever. And it's been taken away from me for no reason of my own, you know. It really gets on my nerves. I mean, just to prove that this is one of my most favourite programmes ever, take a look at this, okay? Just, just look. And you see, I just prove I'm a real lost fan here. I mean, look at this. See, this, this cost me, if I recall, uh, it cost me quite a bit anyway. And it's basically like, you know, trading cards. Now, I never bought trading cards in my life. So I started watching this goddamn program. Now, look how many I've got here. I've got, got damn, every season one trading card going. There's thousands of the damn things. Loads of them. You know, some season twos in here as well. Anyway, loads of them. You know, it's pretty sad that I collect stuff like this because I'm, I love the program that much. Anyway, this week it turns out um, we have Virgin Media in our house as our cable provider, and because Sky uh, are willing, only willing to let them have Sky One on their sort of channels for a high fee, Virgin Media aren't playing board and said, "No, screw it. We're not going to let Sky One be on our subscription service." So bye bye Sky. So as of a few days ago, Sky has completely disappeared from our subs our. Uh, TV channel, so now I can't even watch Lost. It's really annoying because at first it was on Channel 4, went off there. And I thought, oh, that's great, you know. How are we going to watch it now? This guy one boy, and I thought, yay! Hurrah, you know. Excellent. And now, Virgin Media have lost Sky, so. What do you do? I'll wait for the DVDs to come out in about another six months. It's pretty depressing. So that's my first depression note of the week. I've lost, lost. And that is goddamn kind of like when John Locke, you know, couldn't get the goddamn hatch open, he was like this, you know. I've done everything you wanted me to do, so why did you do this? Why? That's exactly how I felt as John Locke, you know. I've done everything that the programme makers wanted me to do to watch the programme and still, for no fault of my own, it's taken away from me. What can you do? Anyway, that's the first annoying point in the week. Good things about the week now. These are good things. I got a really, really nice chicken curry with egg fried rice on Friday night. Uh, that was delicious. Oh, was it Friday? No, sorry, Thursday night. That was great. Chicken curry, egg fried rice at one of the best pub restaurants around here. And what can I say? I enjoyed every goddamn mouthful of it. So that was great. That was a good highlight this week. I also got round to seeing um, two great movies yesterday. A Scanner Darkly, which I highly recommend. is one trippy goddamn movie, I must say. But it, it talks a lot about, you know, free will. Um... Uh, how paranoia, how we sort of watched a lot, all that sort of thing, how um, sometimes the people that are maybe trying to look as if they're helping you are actually profiting from your troubles and things like this. It's, it, it's a deep film really and it's by Philip K. Dick, who's a great author uh, based on his novel and yeah, it's, it's well worth checking out, I recommend that one. I uh, also got to see Right At Your Door which uh, came out last year, I think. It's still to come out in the US. I think it had a different title there. But that's a really cool film about sort of terrorism and what could happen if there was a sort of biological warfare attack. And the tagline of the movie is a twist you never see coming. It kind of defeats the object because now I know when once I saw the film, I knew there was going to be a twist at the end somewhere. I kept guessing all the way through what it was and I kind of predicted that it might be what it was at the end. 
but it's, I was still shocked a little bit by it, you know. I'd say the explanation for the twist at the end is a little bit mm, hokey, but the film as a whole addresses its subject of, you know, terrorism and biological warfare and its effect on what it happens to an ordinary citizen pretty well, and the ending is quite depressing, I'd say. So that one's worth checking out as well, I recommend that one if you like that this week. And also, a great thing that did about this week is finally here in the UK, it's getting warmer people. The weather is getting hotter. It is March. It is no longer the depressing months of January and February. This is good to me, you know. This is a very good time for me because I think I have that thing called seasonal affective disorder where you wake up in the morning, it's dark outside, and you just hate getting up. You know, you hate it. You despise it. And now the weather's actually getting warmer and the days are sort of getting longer so I'm in a good mood again so it can only be good and roll on Easter you know roll on St Patrick's Day that's getting closer an excuse for someone to go out and get drunk for no reason whatsoever but that's good so yeah that's another good thing about this week um, 